Fight or flight. Okay? Basically, courage or fear. This is probably the most underrated part of playing the position. Nobody talks about this stuff. Okay? What we're talking about is what happens when we have a fear response. Okay? There's a whole bunch. It can be one. It could be all four. It, it, it depends. Right? It's all different. But your chin will tuck. Your elbows will come in. Your knees will turn. And you will, your eyes will squint. I don't know. I haven't studied enough. I apologize. But I don't know if you can stop that one. That one's pretty tough. But for the most part, all the other ones, this happens, right? So if what will happen, and we'll, we'll see in a second, I guarantee we all do this. I was the king at this one, right? I would drop every time. And I've had goalies tell me, like, oh, I, I, it's because I'm baiting. No, you're not. You're just getting out of the way. That's all it is, right? And this is normal. This is how we stayed alive for thousands of years. You know, this is, this is how it works, okay? If we feel fear... When some guy's coming back and just cranking, right, some girls on an eight meter, now, you know, girls a lot differently are, are shooting from the eight meter, just a side, you know, a sidearm rip, right? There's fear in, in that. So what will happen? Your chin will come down, your elbows will come in, and your knees will come in like that. And then probably a squint. So can you, can you see the contact point? No, right? So... In, in sports psychology, we talk about the flashlight theory, that you want to point the flashlight in the right place, right? So if we point the flashlight and say, well, like, oh, well, you have to step to the ball. But if you're frozen from fear, how can you do that? It's all, I think of that as torture. Well, step to the ball anyway. But I'm afraid. So how do, we, how do we change that around? How do we not be afraid? That's the key, okay? So if every time you're, you know, you're, you're expecting someone, not even... Every time someone reaches back to shoot and your first move is that, you need to fix the fear, not the stepping part. Does that make sense? That's why, you know, I say sports are 100% mental and 100% physical. That's what I'm talking about. You can't have one without the other. Okay? You've got to address the right things. You've got to put the flashlight in the right spot. Oh. Let me see if that's right. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So, by the way, uh, if, if these goalies, I have about five or six um, examples. If these goalies are in here, if you know them, everybody does this. So, this is not unique to these guys, okay? Even one of the, uh, <laughs> I froze one of Coach Turner's highlights last year or two years ago where he actually was like this. And it was one of his highlights, but, you know, it was sort of a fear response. It's natural. They all do it, everyone does it. It's a human response. Okay, so if you watch this guy, okay, so what do you notice right off the bat about this? Yeah. When the guy uh, brought his hands back, he squatted lower. Well, what do, what do you notice about this right here, this shot? Yeah. I mean, this, this particular shot. Oh, it's wide open. What's open? The oh, yeah, yeah, it's a total time in a room. Yeah, yeah. What else? Is he right now? I think that's his form. And, and right here. Yeah. He does. But right now, what do you notice? Yeah. No, I think he's looking at it. He looks like he's looking at it. Yeah. He spreads his legs pretty wide, right? That's a very wide base. What, where, are my, where are my directors? Danny, what do you think? What do you notice there? Um, well, I mean, compared to my style, he definitely sinks down a little bit, but right there, he's in a pretty good spot. Yeah, and I think it's okay, right? I mean, Coach Turner kind of played like that, um, but his stick was higher. So, you know, that, that seems okay. I mean, I don't know if I would coach that, and even coaches said that he wouldn't coach the way he played, right? Your stance. <laughs> right, right. So, Coach, I don't know if you know when Coach plays, he, he plays like this. It's just sort of a wide base, really high hands. Okay, there was a Darien guy who was All-American. He had the same sort of stance. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. That's the other thing, too, by the way. In believing in your own uniqueness, if anyone follows golf, you know, Tiger Woods is considered one of the best golfers of all time, also Jack Nicklaus. Their swings are not the same. 
you know, Chichi Rodriguez, his swing was awful. It was really ugly, right? Gary Player had a different one. All these guys are different. Jordan Spieth is different than, than the next guy. Just be you. Stop the ball, however you do that, with probably for perfect angles and seeing the release point, seeing the contact point, and having an aggressive mindset. How you do that is irrelevant. Back to our scenario. Now, if we go back a couple slides, he's got all four, although I assume his eyes are squinting. Yeah, you guys see it? Right? Knees are down. Elbows were in. Now they're popped out. And his chin is down. And he's not watching the contact point. Right? But what's the issue? You might say, like, oh, well, that's an awful attempt at a save or whatever it is. But it's not physical. This is just purely a fear response. Time and room from some Darien kid going low to high from eight yards. This is what happens. This is just part of the deal. Does that make sense? Right? So I would guess that before this shot was taken, he was not in an aggressive mindset. In the bring it mindset, which you see on the shirts, right? So this is what happened. These are the physiological effects of fear. Your elbows and knees will drop. That's why I was also talking about like you, you, when you turn. Very often, if you feel fear, the physiological thing, um, component is your hands will come in because it's natural. I want to protect my body. Make sense? Yes. Don't they also like fall down to their knees during running free? Fall to your knees, absolutely, especially if it's going high because you can get out of the way. So I, I, I don't know. Some, one of the coaches has um, a highlight reel where he actually comes this way, and I think that's a bit of a fear response because now the shot is going this way, and so he's like, oh, this is safe so I can move rather than right at your head, which would be like that, right? Um, okay. So there, did you see the reverse C? Oh, did I? Did you see the reverse C there? Oh, it started all over, sorry. Oh, why does that happen? Anyone know? All right, one more time. See that reverse C? Okay, watch that right there. Oh, am I gonna be able to get it back? Okay, how's this position right there? Seems okay, right? I mean, that looks pretty good. He seems pretty balanced, the whole thing. Nothing, no, I mean, nothing wrong there. But, Boom, did you see it? See his knees? So the first thing to move was his knees. That's, see, that's fear. That is just part of the deal. It is not anything else. It's purely a fear component. So you can watch any college game and you will see guy after guy having some sort of fear response. The key is to overcome it, okay? Let's see if I can. Chin down, knees in, his elbows were in. Is he looking at the contact point? Nope. Okay, pretty good position. Maybe a little fear already, right? With his, with his uh, just squatting a little low. And watch. See his hands dip? I think it's in slow motion so you can see it again. Watch his hands dip. Oh, I did it again. Damn. Okay. You sort of get the idea, right? But watch this. This happens quick. 
Look at that. Is there any fear in that motion? No. Right? Straight legged, by the way. Just straight legged, just moves his hands. Whoop. That's it. There's no fear in that at all. It's just see the ball, stop the ball. That's it. Right? So those other goalies could have saves like this, but they weren't in the same mindset that Coach Galloway is in in this scenario. Okay? And when we talk about mindset, watch Coach Galloway in the next couple video uh, clips of how fired up he is. Watch this. It's not the save right there. It's this part. How many have, made, have done that during a save? And I would, I would put that as part of the save. Watch him. Watch him uh, is it here? Yeah, see him punch his, pump his fist? You can't make that save if you're not in the right mindset. You can't do it. By the way, reverse arc. See how it keeps his hips square? Like we talked about today. Look how fired up he is again. Here's Coach Turner. Remember he talked about the cradle, what'd you call it? When you cradle it? Curl. Perfect example right there. Look at, look at where his body ends up. Has any goalie coach ever told you, and this is something we'll talk about tomorrow too, has any goalie coach ever told you to end up on your knees? Would that be bad form? Yes or no? Who says yes? Who says no? I would say yes, it's bad form. But it's appropriate for making stops. Does that make sense? No one will tell you to end up on your butt or your knees. Why does it happen? Someone tell me. Yeah. Being aggressive. Being aggressive. Yeah, okay. Maybe, I doubt you'd end up on your butt if that was the case. One of the girls. Yeah. Make, making sure that it won't go past you. Yes. Who else? Yeah. If you're out of position, well, that could be. Yeah. You're giving everything to make the first save. Interesting first save. Yes. What's your job? If your job, a number one priority is stop the ball, you will end up on the ground. You've got to keep that in your head. It's not about form. It's about stopping the ball and giving everything you can, which one of you guys said, when you see that ball, committing to that ball. Does that make sense? Yes. Coach, I have a question. Yep. Form. Does everybody hear that? Everyone hear that in the back? Yes? Okay. That's exactly right. And that you're going to do whatever it takes. But what we, one of the things we talked about in my goal attending philosophy, which I think you would totally agree with, is that you have to be in that mindset before the game starts. Because if you're not in that mindset, there is no way you're going to do whatever it takes to stop the ball. Because you're going to be like, oh, shoot. Oh, well. Does that make sense? To be the best goalie in the world, you got to want it. you got to want to stop that so bad. And because you perfected your angles and you watched the release point, the mindset is what's going to get you into that position that he's just talking about. 